I just got a call from the doctor at Hazy's pediatrician. They saw the films and they said, oh wow, she needs to get in ASAP. And they said, just to let you know, she might need surgery to fix it. Good morning, everybody. It is go home day. I don't know what you would call that. It's the opposite of vacation day. The end of vacation day. <laughs> Guys, in case you're wondering how Hazy's feeling today, she's doing pretty well. Hazy, you doing okay? She loved, she just screamed into the 360. That's why it's out of the sling. And she's then when like you put totally the camera on her. Pull on like the sympathy card. She put the camera on her and she just changes her face and goes, me and my arms busted. Back up this. Oh. <laughs> she's doing pretty well, you guys. For having broken both bones in her arm, she's doing phenomenal. Maddie just left. It was an emotional goodbye. We didn't video it. We're sorry, but we just hugged and cried, and I'm in the dark. So we are packing up the room. The car is loaded, and we're about to hit the road, guys, for like 11 hours of driving. If you include stops, this could be 12, 13. You don't know. So come with us. Let's go on a road trip. What is it like to travel with a toddler who's got a broken arm? We're about to find out right now. Phase one of traveling with a toddler with a freshly broken arm arm you've got to do I missed it but you got to do like a four process thing to get the arm inside there she's got it propped up with a blanket ice pack on top we're gonna be driving for about 11 hours today and this is all in preparation for when we get home she's gonna go meet with an orthopedic pedi pediatrician what do you say pediatric, pediatric ortho orthopedist there we go some medical term and then she's going to get plaster cast the hard cast in pink so it's adorable and we can all sign it huh yeah. are you ready to go it's going to be pink Oh, it's gonna be pink, that's for sure, huh? One thing that I love is every stop we make, the kids want to wash off the windows. I love this. So they've all got one going. I think Ryler's in the back doing the back windshield right now. Oh, there he's doing the whole side of the car. We are maybe 90 minutes in. We were gonna try and go as long as we can between potty breaks, but guess who had to go? There's a guy. So what happens when you have a Jamba Juice for breakfast. It's a giant, like, 32 ounce what drink. When you have a bladder the size of a peanut. Mine's more like a pea than a peanut. So, kids are giving the car a little wash down here. When you go to the gas pump and it says car wash, yes or no, I push no because I know I'm going to get one right here. All right, you little washers, are we ready to go? Nope. <laughs> Oh, a little bit more. <laughs> uh, this is looking good. I mean, this is clean. You can barely tell we've been on a road trip. Okay, let's go. I don't even know what they're doing at this point. Bregson, it's only for windows. It's <laughs> You're good though, dude. You're good. All right, guys, load up. Let's hit the road. We got nine hours left. Nine hours? <laughs> That's with Are no we stops. There yet? Hey, Z girl. How's it going back here? Oh, we got you got fresh <laughs> ice for her arm. Oh, fresh ice. One of the tricks, I think we said this earlier, this has got to be elevated. She keeps taking the blanket out, but she's got to keep it up. We need to reduce the swelling so she can get the hard cast when we get home. So that's the trick, is keeping this arm up, iced, <laughs> and, <laughs> and cute. Dad, I want my, oh, my little m and You want yellow M&Ms? Those have peanuts in them. Do you like peanut M&Ms? Okay, I want white chocolate M&M's with sour Skittles. That's a super strange combo. As I said it out loud, it kind of grossed me out, but we're gonna get them. Let me get you a shot through the clean windows there, thanks to the kids. There we go. <laughs> looked at Brandon and I was like, wow, and he goes, just own it. <laughs> <laughs> I look very awesome when I do that. But you guys, I had to get on here and update you. I just got a call from the doctor at Hazy's pediatrician. They saw the films and they said, oh wow, she needs to get in ASAP. We have an appointment for Monday at 11.30. She's gonna go in and see an orthopedic specialist. And they said, just to let you know, she might need surgery to fix it. It's just the way that the bones have slid. They may have to do surgery and put a pin in there or whatever to, to fix the bones. So she's like, don't put it out of your mind. Keep it in the front of your mind that that's a possibility though. She'll have surgery, which is just like even worse. They felt it was urgent that she get in right away. And there's a possibility they'll cast her that day, is that what you said? Yes, they said if the swelling has gone down enough, they will cast her that day, which means she keeps taking the ice on and off. We gotta keep her arm up and we gotta keep it ice this whole weekend. We kinda make sure that we're diligent about that so that she's able to get that cast on because the cast is gonna keep her arm secure and in its proper position. Okay. Guys, fingers crossed for no surgery. I mean, obviously we will do, oh, I look orange. Obviously we Just will it. do. <laughs> <laughs> obviously we'll do whatever it takes to make sure she heals the best way possible. Having had surgery and pins and metal rods uh, in me. 
don't want to do it. It's not fun. It's not good. It's never really the same. Let's just, fingers crossed, we don't have to do that, guys. Yeah, and let's just hope that it heals properly. That's our biggest thing. Is whatever we got to do to get her arm healing. Keep great. the swelling down. Get through between now and then without making it worse because she keeps banging on it to show how strong it is. And I'm like, your arm is broken. Stop. Like, stop. It, you guys, it. she is so tough. I was messaging one of my friends and they said, there's no way that her arm is broken. This was before we found out. If it's broken, you would know. Like, she'll be crying. That's the update for today. We're just going to continue to ice her. Keep it elevated. Keep probably. it elevated and get ready for Monday's appointment. We're so anxious to have that appointment and to know what's going to happen. Know that you're going to be getting an update very soon from that. Monday is the first day of school for everybody, too. Not like we don't have enough going on that day. <laughs> it's her first day of school, and the doctor said I shouldn't send her. How do you miss the first day of school? You break your arm at Legoland. <laughs> Hazy's feeling it. Another quick stop here in Prim, Nevada. It's hot here. It is much hotter here than on the coast, I will tell you that. But we're gonna do a quick potty break. We're actually gonna grab some quick lunch to go on the road. Gas up. On the road again. And we're gonna keep this party train moving because I need to get on the road again. we wanna stop as little as possible. <laughs> One more quick potty stop here, then probably one more stop for gas on the way home, and then we will be home. We are in St. George, Utah right now. This is as far as we went the first day. We slept over here in St. George and then finished off the trips. We've done as much as we did when we woke up from St. George to California. We've just got the trip from St. George back. It's like three and a half hours or so without stopping. We will stop probably one more time just for potty break, but we are almost there. fun to see him he will not stop meowing and rubbing he against our legs so loud right now you guys. i wish i was recording as we got to the garage door because you could hear you him hear meowing him. down the street through the house he knew we were home he just misses us so, so nice you guys he was, he well, was taken well taken care of my parents came the neighbor came everybody was watching our house for us we're super grateful to all of them mostly probably. last they don't really care about the house they just want to watch last yeah that's true <laughs> we're home kids are in bed we got hazy in bed she goes mom can i have some new ice so I came She's in, I got good. her some more ice. I think having a road trip home on today was probably the best thing that could have happened for her yep. because otherwise we would, she would have been bouncing around. And guys, She's really off get balance. Two more days before we can get this thing looked yeah. at. And we are fingers crossing for no surgery. Thank yes. you for the positive vibes, the overwhelming support, guys. Yeah, I have more We've messages never, than I can even respond to right now. We've never had as many messages, as many comments. The video went over 50,000 views like in the first seven Within hours. The first, yeah. Like that's been unreal for one of our videos. So that means a lot to us to show that there's that much interest from you guys and how she's doing what the and diagnosis is she is our precious little hazy she is a superstar and we have monday's appointment that you guys will not want to miss where we find out if she's gonna have to have surgery that's gonna be a big one so kind of sad she's gonna miss her first day of school i know but great drive home we're gonna go snuggle with laz laz is literally just doing figure eights like through all of our legs down here <laughs> and yes i'm wearing mini mouse pants now you guys know the drill when we get home there's a lot of suitcases laying around we got laundry laying around I mom did some laundry to. at the beach house so there's yeah so there's only one overall. gigantic suitcase but tomorrow it's definitely recovery day. We're gonna be unpacking, unloading, getting back to life, keeping Hazy safe, putting her in bubble wrap, keeping her away from everyone and everything. Yes. Expect a chill day tomorrow. Should be a nice 
crash recovery day. It'll be awesome. Yeah, we need to get into bed, guys. It's yes. been a long day of driving, but it went really well. It went really, really well. It Very was proud actually of the kids, a really great drive. Proud of everybody. It really was like a fast drive. It didn't feel like it took that long. It was a fun lightning storm when we got home. Didn't that was feel like cool. it took 11 hours. It was 11 hours. Didn't seem like it. it. Wasn't too bad. We love you. You rock. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see what happens with Hazy because subscribe. you know that there's updates guys, coming. We, I mean, you guys have seen it's been an epic summer and the new epicness is about to start. School starts Monday. It's a whole new series of events. Definitely subscribe. Figure out how we get through this life. I just know that we saw a billboard that said, you can't spell summer without ER. Isn't that the truth? We're going to close out <laughs> summer with our last ER visit. Oh, let's hope. We'll see you tomorrow. We love you guys. See you. Bye. Thanks.